Whether in school, university or work, we all find ourselves in situations where we have to learn vast quantity of information in a short period of time. In these instances, vast majority of us resort to the age-old study technique of reading a textbook over and over again with the hope that some of it will stick. This cramming method of learning is time-consuming and ineffective, as we will demonstrate in this video. Research shows that learning is more effective when study sessions are spaced out. I have covered some of the evidence for this in my uh, previous video, uh, where I talked about active recall and practice testing. If you haven't watched this video, I'll leave a link somewhere here for you to go and check that out first before you watch this video. In this video, I'll talk about why spaced repetition works so well in learning and retaining knowledge and practical methods on how to apply it to your own studies. The timestamps for various sections of the video are below if you want to skip to any particular parts. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Noya and a family doctor based in the UK. Firstly, let's start off by outlining what spaced repetition is. It's basically a study method by which you space out the review of learned information at increasing time intervals. Our brains are not so good at retaining knowledge for long periods of time if we try and cram it in one sitting. But if we revisit those topics at planned intervals, we can help our brain form stronger connections and remember more information for longer duration of time. This has been demonstrated well in the forgetting curve, which has been developed by the German psychologist Dr. Hermann Ebbinghaus in the late 18th century, which shows the rate at which information disappears from our brain over time. This graph shows our memory in percentage versus time. When we first learn something, within the first two hours, we forget most of that information, as shown by the steep drop in the graph, and we continue to forget, but at a slower pace. In fact, studies show that we forget around 75% of what we learn within the 48 hour period. When we repeatedly review the same topic over gradually increasing time intervals, we interrupt the forgetting curve. And each time we revisit the topic, we start back at the beginning and the drop in memory is slower and plateaus at a higher memory level. After several revisits, we retain a significant amount of information in our long-term memory. One method to slow down the forgetting curve even further would be to use active recall and practice testing when we revise, a concept which I have covered in a previous video. Let's now talk about the three different methods we could use to implement spaced repetition in our learning process. The Leitner system was introduced by Sebastian Leitner in the 1970s. The concept is to get five boxes, and these could be any type of physical boxes that you can find around the house, or these could be in the digital form that you can create in the form of a table. Topics in box one get studied every day, box two gets studied every week, box three gets studied every other week, box four every month, and box five is for topics you have learned well. There's no hard and fast rules about these timeframes. You can adjust and play around to see what works best for you. The goal is to make flashcards for different topics you need to know for the exam and place them in box one. When making these flashcards, ideally use active recall and practice testing learning methods. As you revise these new topics in box one, if you get the questions right, you move the flashcard to the next box to space out the review dates. If you get the questions wrong, you move the flashcard back to the previous box. This system ensures that you study the topics that you struggle with more frequently. The second method is by creating a revision timetable by using Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel and use traffic light colors to indicate how well you remember the topics. We write all the topics that we need to know for an exam on the left hand side column with several review columns on the right hand side. Each time we study a new topic, we write the date on the review column. If we did poorly on it using the practice testing method, we mark the date as red. If we did okay on it, but we need further reviews, then we mark it as orange. If we are happy that we've learned that topic and don't need to revisit, then we mark it as green. We give priority to the topics that are marked as red, and these get studied more frequently followed by topics marked in orange. And the goal is eventually to mark all these topics as green before the exam date. The final method to implement space repetition is by using apps. There are so many available options, but the most popular one is Anki, a flashcard app where the algorithm is programmed to present to you the cards in a spaced out manner, depending on how well you know the topics. The advantage of using the app is you don't need to be on your desk to do the work. You could revise on the go whilst waiting to get a coffee 
or in the tube. Throughout the course of the day, if you have any spare pockets of time, you could use that to do some questions. If you enjoyed this video, you might also want to check out my other videos, uh, which I've made about how to study more effectively and how to stop procrastinating, which I will link somewhere here. All the papers I have used in making this video, I will link them in the description below. If you want to ask any specific questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. As always, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.